Hello everyone and welcome to Ryo's Gaming Misfits. I am your host Ryo and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to convert your Minecraft Bedrock world into a Minecraft Java world. Some things I want to note before we begin. Any redstone contraptions you have will break, but all you need to do is collect the redstone and lay it back down to reconnect it and everything should work like normal. Any frames that you have placed items into will fall off the wall or wherever they're placed for some odd reason. So all you need to do is collect them and place them back. Any buckets you have filled with water, milk, lava, etc. will be empty once you load into Java with your save. All your enchantments will be lost, but your tools and weapons will remain. Enchantment books will not display the enchantment tooltip. I'm not sure why. So for me, it's no big deal. I can just get them again or use um, command codes to give myself the books. But I'm not going to do that because I like the whole grinding process on that. But anyway, um, you could pretty much toss those because I would probably end up taking inventory space. I haven't figured out what I can do with them, if anything. Um, moving on, any slime balls you have will vanish. I'm not sure why, but if you convert them to slime blocks, you keep them. Any scoots or turtle helmets will vanish. I've tried different Minecraft Java versions. The latest Java version, I think, is 1.15.2. Um, I'm not sure why they vanish. Probably different coding because Minecraft Bedrock is written in C and Java is obviously Java. Um, these are the things I've noticed right off the bat once I load it into my world once converted to Java. So with that said, let's begin. I'm currently in Bedrock and I have um, already prepped my character but to give you an idea oh something else before we move on all your chests that are combined to make one large chest you will have to break them and recombine them I'm not sure why they're not automatically combined that's no big deal unless you got a ton of chests laying around but otherwise, that's just where that's at. So with that said, let me load up my bedrock world to give you an idea. So my ender chest, I've already emptied it and set it into this chest here. This is my current gear. Um, oh, torches will vanish. I'm not sure why. It's no big deal. I keep reading on that too. Um, if you have any skulker boxes, they revert back to the purple color. Um, I'm not sure if you have anything in them, it vanishes. But outside of that, that's all I've noticed. And these are the frames I was talking about. So I have one there. And I had a, uh, armor stand here. It vanished, so I put it in a box with what I had on it for display. If you have the dragon head, it becomes a skeleton head. I can't remember the actual monster at the moment. Um, and these are all my enchanted weapons I've got via fishing or whatever the case. And all my books on Bedrock have the enchantment listed on them, but when I convert it over to Java, it just says enchanted book. Um, I haven't noticed anything else outside of what I've already pre-mentioned. Um, the, like, these kind of contraptions with redstone, you'll have to fix. And if I can get up here. This will end up being a, a little splotch. You just got to hit it and lay it back down. But just to give you an idea, all my chests in my bedrock, outside of the ones I have placed in front, they are together. They are the uh, large chest. So let me get back up here. And then so that way there's no mistake if I've moved or anything like that. And load in. 
to the process. So the tool we're using is the MCC tool chest. Minimize this, and this is Java. With the tool chest, let me go ahead and do new, or better yet, I'll just open it up new. So since I have it on my start menu, with the MCC tool chest, if um you have the Bedrock Edition in its default location, or if you've gone into Windows settings and changed where um, Windows installs programs from the Microsoft Store, uh, I believe it should auto detect it. That's what it's doing on my end. If not, you'll have an option to actually look in a folder. When you click this folder icon at the top left, and then you'll have this is what comes up, and then you at the bottom you have select folder and so this was my save I'm converting takes in a minute so once it's loaded everything is here um, I've tried editing the what is it this is the personal inventory. I've tried editing it, putting items in it. It still vanishes, so I wouldn't waste my time with this. And then this would be the ender chest. Even though if I left anything in it, this still comes up empty once I load it into the MCC tool chest. So with that said, we'll come up to tools, then convert. To Java there's also an option for bedrock I have not tried this yet and you'll just go to Java and I select everything here what I would like but um, results may vary and this is your current Java location if you've installed Java to its default location um, it could be in another location for you so it would be, you know, C, users, your username, app data, roaming, Minecraft, saves, and then the world you were trying to convert to Java. So these are the options I choose, and everything seems to go fine for me. So we'll click convert and wait on the process. And once it's finished, you'll get this little notification. And then you can just close out that window and then close out the tool. And then once you load into the Java edition, you go single player and then your world should be here. And then you just click on it and let it load in. And as I mentioned before, the items that will break. Also bear in mind I also have some shaders already installed. Notice my picture frame came off the wall. And since I already prepped my armor stand, it's there. And then notice all the chests are separated. Let me pick this up since it's the only one here. And as I said, you can just pick them up and lay them back down and it will be perfectly fine and then let me get down here to my little layer of layers 
as I mentioned with the redstone, you see how it's just a little blotch. If you pick it back up, and then you can lay it back down, it'll just work its way and reconnect itself. So you just do the same thing until you reconnect your redstone. And then, as I said before about um, your buckets, which I have to break this and get mine out of here, which is fine, I'll replace it. This is my chicken cooker, but if you notice my bucket is empty, I will have to refill it and go from there. But with that said, this is my bedrock world converted to Java. Don't mind the llama here. And I will have to fix all of these because they're all redstone contraptions as well as my garden. Make it down here and show you. Notice the redstone is just little splotches. I'll just have to hit them, pick them up, and go from there. So with that said, hopefully your world converts over successfully, minus the hindrances. And again, if you want your enchantments back or um, any of the like the scoots or a turtle helmet outside of going back and gathering it again you can use commands to get it um, but outside of that there's a slime in my house that's a first anyway outside of that I thank you guys for watching and this if this helped you in any way I ask you to please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends and hopefully they'll be able to use it as well if this is something they're trying to do. I've been trying to find something updated but I haven't been able to so I decided to make a 2020 edition and hopefully this helps. Again this is Ryo and I thank you guys for visiting my channel and watching this video and I hope you all have a wonderful and safe afternoon evening or morning whenever you're watching this video. You guys take care. Later.